my uh, blower fan's out. Like, I've hit it so many times. And it used to work to get it going again for a minute. But, uh, yeah, AC works great. Blower fan is out, so I don't have air. I'll get this fan hooked up. I got total hillbilly. <laughs> no vents for your hillbilly. I actually did come from the hills, too. I live in the hills, so I'm qualified to hang a little 12 volt fan from my review man. Uh, it's very very hot i ordered one it's like 50 bucks on uh, amazon it'll be here tomorrow i gotta install that there's so much going on but i'm here to get some fruit you cannot go to atb in this town and not see a ton of people that you don't really want to see situation is going to be or how it's going to feel when you arrive at it. I'm in, uh, embarking on a, a real life change here. A real life change. And um, I'll tell you, uh, I've got so much to do. It's overwhelming. It's actually seriously overwhelming <clears throat> I never thought that I I guess I just didn't really think about it I knew it was gonna be hard at the time I didn't know it was gonna be as hard as it, as it is of course I had just come back from Boise and I landed in that spot and I was just I was ready to make some money and then COVID happened and it just took that away from me for months shutting me down I guess I felt like I had a whole lot inside of me I needed to let out, you know? And so, uh, got in my head that I was gonna, I don't even know. I don't remember exactly what the thing was in my brain that happened where I just said, I'm gonna make a YouTube channel, let's go. Let's start a channel and talk to the camera just talk to nothing. We'll, we'll send it out into nothingness. We'll see what, what happens with it. Nonetheless, I went down to the lake. I grabbed my phone. I didn't even have, I don't think I had a tripod. Yeah, I did have a tripod. I bought a, a junkie thing and I put it on there and just a cell phone. I, I started the YouTube without a stand, without anything. I just was holding my phone up, except it was doing this everywhere I went. It's like, so yeah, uh, in the van here, I went down to the lake and I stood by my chunk of concrete and started talking, started sharing my feelings. Not all the things, but I was very guarded at that, at that moment in time. I didn't really know, as, you know how far I was gonna take it and what I was gonna do. And so I went through a plethora of feelings and thoughts of how I would convey my experience with you and what my channel was really about, just what direction I was going. Um, very personal though, very personal, because, you know, here I am starting a business, a 
and by the time I started my business and actually got it going where I was making good money, that's about when I started doing this actually. And um, by that time, it was just all about me moving on into something that I had thought about for a long time. Really, it wasn't like the dream of van lifing. I never dreamt of van lifing like this. I never dreamt of getting into my car and leaving by myself. I did not want to do this alone. That was never my dream, ever. I dreamed of having a team, a partnership, doing what Eamon and Beck did, you know? Getting together with your significant other, making memories, and, and now that I'm doing it, finally doing this, and it's not me and my wife, it's me alone. It's partly there, but mostly not. That's why I say now it's not about van life, it's about Vinnie Van's life. Because suddenly I'm thrust into all this stress, thrust into make, creating a business again where I didn't want to. I was forced to do, I had no way to, nowhere to go. I had the barbershop, if I could secure that location again. And I did, I secured the location, I had a place to go and set up and start making money, that was it. It wasn't about this town, it wasn't about anything else but being able to get through that time, that period of my life where, you know, I was going through it so unsure of everything. I didn't know where it was gonna land, what was gonna happen. Was I gonna get back together with my wife? Was it over? Was this location, this business where I was gonna be forever? That was not the plan. I did not want that. I have endured limbo. I have absolutely endured limbo. Been in this position that I never wanted to be in. Dealing with all the things you never wanna deal with. I don't know. You know, when you talk to these things, someone said the other day, how do you talk so much to the camera? And I'm like, I know that's not an insult or nothing. It's like, some people cannot talk to the camera. I don't know, I just have that. I have the ability to imagine the audience. I've been doing it my whole life since I was a little kid, looking in the mirror, imagining the audience was there, singing into the spoon. Playing air guitar. So. I've been practicing this a long time. That's how I can talk so much into the camera. And so phrases like that being said, they come around and you start using it all the time. Forgive me. I apologize. Okay. Um, at any rate, I have uh, just been going through a plethora of emotions. I don't share the deepest feelings a lot. I don't get all the emotion on this channel, but... I can tell you that uh, there have been tears, there have been lots of emotions. Uh, you know, everybody wants to be successful, everybody wants to have things, but right now the things that are important to me are my heart, my emotions, my soul, in essence. God willing, and He is, all this will come together. So I'm excited. The shop's coming down, boxes are being packed, I got a storage. Um, the van's running fantastically. I'm getting decent gas mileage again. It's consistent. Now that I took that storage thing off the top of the roof. Good gosh, I can fit another 200 watt panel up there now. And the max fan, I think that's what might be happening. So, uh, Anyway, I just wanted to share with you guys a little bit of that. I'm going through it over here. It's a lot of work. You gotta put everything aside and you gotta work. You gotta put it all aside and you gotta get things done. I gotta sell stuff, pack stuff, get rid of stuff, give it away, throw it away. 
all with one arm at this point. My arm is getting a little better, just a little. Still can't lift it. But I feel, I feel the, a little bit of difference. And the bruising is ridiculous. I have green and brown bruise all over all of my arm. Means I think that it's starting to heal, starting to the blood's starting to flow through it, you know. Anyway, God bless you guys. Thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate you. I really appreciate all of you. 607. Went up another one. I can't begin to tell you how important you've been to me. How important it's been that y'all have been there listening, watching, and waiting for that day when I go. And I'm going during a time that it's tumultuous, man. The world is going through it. There's so much happening. There's so much going on. Gas prices. You know what, though? I have peace. I have peace. The peace that passes all understanding. It's that peace that God gives you that's in your spirit, it's in your soul. You can hardly explain it. It's there. And you're able to overcome, you know? There's a difference. When I didn't have that, but I've had that for a long time, and it's the, it's the reason I've gotten through, I'll tell you that much. Because when I start just leaning on my own understanding, thinking I got it figured out, and then I start having all these emotions, and I'm out of control, it seems like, in my soul. I remember, and I rely on him, and I talk to him. That might be a little too much for people, but I'm not... I'm just being myself, y'all. You know, no judgment. I thank Jesus for everything I have, everything I've had and experienced in my life. I have a wonderful daughter who has a wonderful grandson. I have, uh, I'm alive, I'm breathing every day. My needs are met. I'm fixing to get in that van and drive across the country. Gonna see some friends, gonna see some mountains some bodies of water, some trees. The roads are gonna be very, very kind to me. And uh, I'm gonna film whatever I can so you guys can watch. Thank you. I love you. All right, y'all take care. God bless. Do all the good things with those buttons. Thank you. Oh, I can you do it? Can you reach it? There it is. Nope. There it is, right? I'm trying to hit the off button on my camera with my right arm. So it's getting better because I can reach pretty high. I'll bring the camera to it. How about that? Will that work? Mm -hmm. Okay.